welcome along. It's the 31st of October 2019 and once again I'm fishing just there, close in in the margins, to have a local free pool. If you watched my Sweet Call Fishing in the Margins video, I'm on the same spot as I was a few weeks back when I was fishing then. So today is the start of my winter vlogs for this year. So this will be the first part I'll be fishing here, Clattercook Reservoir and maybe a couple of trips here and there to other lakes just to change the scenery. So over the next four months, I'm hopefully we'll have a few cups, show you beautiful winter colours. And my main aim over the winter is a 20 pound carp, a 10 pound pike and a two pound perch. So it won't just be carp fishing these vlogs. There'll be a few other little bits and pieces going on. Fishing for other stuff, down the canal fishing maggots for little things. I'm going to keep mixing it up all winter for the next four months. So I hope you enjoy all my videos. I'll let you into a little secret. Three hours ago, along this reed bed, I put in a couple of tins of sweet corn. I've gone and done what I needed to do today, and I've come back for the last three hours till dark. So hopefully, that little bit of pre-baiting might spur them on a bit. The water doesn't look like it's coloured up. There's no bubbles or any signs of fish on the spot, so I've just put my hook bait over the top of it, and I'm gonna sit back from the water's edge. So now to show you what I'm using. As I said, I put in a bit of sweet corn earlier on. It's not the Jolly Green Giant. Any sweet corn will do, really. Carp love it, and I especially, especially love it down here, and I won't go anywhere without it in the sweet corn. Now, the time of year means it a lot of people say you should be piling in the boilies. Carp trying to get fat ready for the cold weather. Now I'll put a few of these out, not a lot. And I want to big up my man, Gaz Gaskins. He's got, these are sticky bait krill. Now some of them, the fatter ones, they've been in there for just over a month in lake water and a bit of the sticky, uh, sticky bait's krill glug. Now some of these smaller ones have only been in there for about a week or so. But some of these bigger ones, we'll just find one. They're that soft now, they took on all the flavour. I mean, look at that. They're absolutely stinking this little lake out. And then lastly, on top of the hook bait, we've got one of these boilies, a little bit of pop-up corn, and just to top it off a little bit more, what I've done very well on since I got this bottle is the old almond goo. So all that's left to do now is to sit back from the water's edge and enjoy the autumn colours of the lake. 20 minutes and we're in. Screaming run. Admittedly it don't feel very big. But as long as I get it in, it's a good start to my winter vlog. Luckily, it's well away from my baited area. I was going to let the rod do the work. Right underneath the rod tip. Maybe a bit of pre baiting earlier on. And a bit of the almond goo seems to have paid off. Common. Nice way to start. I don't know, six pounder. So it took 20 minutes. I had to get it back in. I've got plenty of time to get myself another one. Well, I can't deny I'm happy with that. That's got me off checkbook. I've still got a couple of hours till sundown. Well, as you can tell by the bend in my rod, I'm into a second fish. It's took nearly an hour since the last one. So I'll concentrate. I'm going to get this one in.
Second of the trip. A little banging mirror, big scaly one. And it's just gone four, so we've got an hour till sunset. There's still plenty of time for me to have a hat trick on my first winter vlog of this year. It's 20 to five and we're running out of time before sunset. Since I last fished about half an hour ago, I put a little bit more bait out, but there's just no sign of them. I'm gonna stay and fish probably for about an hour or so till it's like pitch black and I can't see anything. And if I don't catch, then thank you very much for watching. And please see you in my other videos and look out for a future winter vlogs.